Hi everyone, welcome to not my closet, but Gabby's closet. Gabby's black closet. <laughs> <laughs> this is my sister-in-law Gabrielle. You might have seen her around on my channel. And today we're gonna be doing a closet declutter. We're gonna go through everything and talk about what she wants to keep, what she wants to get rid of. And we also have a maybe pile for the stuff that you're maybe a bit unsure about. <laughs> so yeah, let's jump right into it. One of the big things that I wanna do today is just kind of go over some of the pieces that I've got in here and why they're still in here, even if I haven't worn them for years and get rid of some of this stuff so that I have an open closet and don't have to make up a million decisions every day. So we will start here. I worked at a clothing store for a while, so I had the opportunity to buy a lot of things at a discount. And so that is why a lot of the crazier items in here got in here in the first place. Uh, but this dress specifically, has not fit me since 2013. Um, and the reason it is still in here is I wore it to my engagement party. So I have like a memory that kind of goes along with it that is really meaningful to me. So I just, for whatever reason, have held on to it all this time, even though it has not fit me for years. I think with sentimental pieces, sometimes it's nice to think about the fact that, you know, it is a really special piece and somebody else is probably gonna have a special <laughs> yes. experience with it. <laughs> When I went to Rome with my family a couple of years ago, we found a little store and they were making them there and I just fell in love with it. That's and it's such so a cool, cool piece. So this one gets to stay. It's a good layering piece. If you guys don't know, we live in a super cold place. So having layers that are warm is mandatory. What about this dress? That guy imagine? is from a local designer also and is also one of those dresses that like, I used to wear this to every wedding ever. I've definitely seen you wear that dress. It is so flattering and I can't remember if it fits me or not so it goes yeah. into the try it, on again. try it on and see. Everyone always tells you if you're curvy your whole life mm. that like wrap dresses are universally flattering. So you <laughs> buy these wrap dresses thinking like oh my gosh they're gonna look amazing on me. I blame what not to wear. <sighs> They said that all the time to everybody. Not every wrap dress is flattering. Some of them will just sit in your closet forever collecting so much angst. So goodbye wrap dress. <laughs> We've got a couple of dresses in here from a Canadian company called Simply and I love them. They're not like super green but they are Canadian made and not made in a sweatshop somewhere else in the world um, and they're very spandexy. This is my like Little black dress, wear it to every event. Also local designer. This is an actual wrap dress that looks good. So it stays. <laughs> this is my single wrap dress that I own that looks good. This is one of those, it probably will stay in my closet for another year out of sadness because I feel bad that someone bought this for me. Honestly and though, if you don't wear it, like, yeah. There's no point in holding on to it. Sorry, mom. This one, again, I don't know if it puts me anymore. It's worth at least one try on before it goes into mm -hmm. the... And I feel like when you put something on, it also gives you a better sense of it's something that you want to hang on to. Or Absolutely. That you don't really see yourself wearing. Or... Yeah, one of the big challenges... I wore this dress to your wedding. Um, yes. <laughs> one of the big challenges, I think for me, has just been like coming to terms with having a child and my body changing shape and then realizing that some of the clothes that fit me before are not going to fit me again. So I keep holding on to some pieces and going like, oh, you know, maybe in a year, if I lose weight, if I get back to blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But honestly, like my rib cage has gotten bigger. This isn't gonna fit on my rib cage anymore. Mm -hmm. That is like emotionally really hard to go through, you know, oh. like you're, you've got these things, you looked great in them before and then it's just like nope body's not going to yeah. be like that again it's obviously a reminder that the the things that used to fit me don't fit me anymore so mm -hmm. um having that out i think will be really nice and mm -hmm. will be a breath of fresh air and get me one step closer to a capsule wardrobe <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, well, you can come Not into quite the there. closet yeah. and <laughs> know that all the pieces here actually fit you. <laughs> yeah, it's taking up space both mm -hmm. in your head and in your closet, so absolutely. The nice thing about this dress is because it's got the like double button closure, um, even when it stopped fitting me, I just removed the button 
and moved it a little bit oh, okay. so that I could still wear it. So this one's really been nice because it allows a little bit of flexibility in mm -hmm. weight fluctuations and it still fits. I own, owned uh, that exact same skirt. Really? And it is hilarious. I bought this exact same skirt. It has two it's, layers, but it's still sheer. It's so see-through. Even with like layers. You can probably see through it right now. You can yeah. definitely see underwear through it. So you have to wear a layer underneath. Mm -hmm. And if that layer isn't silky, you create like the biggest static. It's ridiculous. That's so, so funny. Bye-bye skirt. Bye skirt. <laughs> so these jeans are gonna go for sure. They are so indigo. I can't wear them without them rubbing mm. indigo off on everything. So if I lean on a wall, indigo. If I have a purse with it, it turns indigo. So I have not worn them as much as I have wanted to. These guys actually need to get mended, but they will be staying in my closet. I have pretty big thighs, so I get a lot of like wear right in the crotch region of my pants always so that's the first thing to go even if the rest of the pant looks beautiful so I often just get like patches on the inside of them mm -hmm. just to extend the wear because it's such a shame to get rid of something that's just starting to fit you well because you get a little bit of wear only shorts that I've ever purchased and they magically all fit, so. Do you pack away your seasonal clothes? I do, I actually have a couple bins like this and I put my seasonal clothes in them and then I put them up there. So you could probably see like a bin up there. So I'll put them in there for the winter. Um, and the same thing with my coats. I put them in the basement until I need them again. These pants also, why do I own purple pants? They don't go with anything. <laughs> they are going out the door. I'm really intrigued by the idea of pieces of clothing that you can use as different objects. This is one of those pieces. You can wear it as a dress, you can fold this down and wear it as a skirt. And I'm always like, yeah, that's a great idea. And I never wear them because they're just like an awkward fit. With those kinds of things, it seems so cool because it's like I could wear them all these different ways, but you really have to think, am I actually going to wear them yeah. this way and that way and that way? Absolutely. And like try it on the different ways and see. Hmm. Very rarely do they actually work, so bye-bye. This is an interesting one. It's worn under long kind of tunicky shirts just to add like a little bit of extra length. It looks horrible on its own though. Like you have to wear it with things that at least reach to there on right. it. So anyways, I have two of them that work with it. Mm. Um, but it only goes with those two. So I hesitate to get rid of it if I'm gonna keep the tunic, but right. at the same time, it's kind of like, oh my gosh. It's got a very different profile than the other one that I've got, but it's black, so it goes with everything in my closet. Mm. So this one gets to stay. You yes. get to stay. Only two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everything else went. <laughs> this is another one of those, it is a dress, it is a skirt. It actually can be worn like quite well as an interchangeable item. Okay, so that's good. You get to stay giant dress. The draping is so beautiful, mm. but it does not look good with my body. It mm. is like, it shows areas I would prefer not to, so goodbye. Big change. It didn't look like a big pile, but it was. I love the color of this sweater so much but it's like elastic at the bottom i have the terrible affliction of thinking that i can change the way that my objects look all the time i'm like well i'll just make a couple of small minor changes and oh. then it will work <laughs> i love this sweater so much it's a nice and color. i'm gonna definitely make you help me fix this <laughs> <laughs> that's a really easy fix yeah it just requires some stitch Where i have collected many scarves All of these I do wear on a pretty regular basis. Which scarf do you wear the most? Probably this one. And it's got so many different colors in it that I can pair it with a lot of the kind of reds that are in my closet already. Should we jump into these guys? Absolutely. This is one of those shirts that I, in theory, like. In practice, this zipper at the back gets stuck in my hair all of the oh, time. Oh, yeah. This fabric that is underneath of the shirt gets like caught up in pants weirdly. I'm saying goodbye to it. Bad design, bad fabric. For some reason, I can't let go of things that are silk. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's still, I mean, especially if it's something that you've spent a bit more money on and mm -hmm. it's nice material, it feels harder to get rid of. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. 
but donating items that are really nice and really good quality is also really great though because like thrift stores always get a crappy lot of like stuff? really crappy fast yeah. fashion clothes and they're poor quality something that is actually well made and nice is for sure gonna Someone's get gonna used by it. somebody yeah, yeah. This is like interesting. my club shirt, we will call it. <laughs> a lot of my clothes have kind of a higher conservative cut and aren't really like for going out. How often do I go out? <laughs> the answer is almost never. Um, but it's gonna stay in here because it's the single item of clothing that I own. <laughs> Again, I love this sweater because it is linen. It's got a crazy little bow detail. <laughs> I'm going to wear it until it's threadbare for sure. I've what repaired it probably six times in the shoulders oh, wow. already. I have made a very concentrated effort over the years to buy pieces that are Canadian made, that are of good quality and that can kind of be mix and matched. But then it has gone to the other extreme where it's like now everything is solid. But on the plus side, you can have like a little pop of something yeah, exactly. and you don't have to worry about it clashing with everything in your wardrobe. Totally. I constantly look at and constantly try to like incorporate into my outfits. I've never really found an outfit that I liked. You have some pieces that are layering pieces and you have a specific items that you, or like a, a variety of items that you wear them with. But with a piece like this, if you have to buy something to wear it with, then it's like, it's why not worth keeping it? it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. One more empty hanger. This is a maternity shirt. Mm -hmm. Somehow it has stayed in my closet. Because it is long sleeve and black, I think, I keep <laughs> it around, but it makes me look pregnant. Goodbye shirt. Thing is so old. Oh my god. Um, it's like yes. fitting into a scuba suit. I can't do it up very comfortably anymore. I just like will wear it open. Why do you think that you've been holding on to pieces? I think because this one still fits me everywhere except doing it up. And like okay. for me, a lot of shirts I am challenged to find something that fits me nicely up top mm -hmm. and also can be zipped up. So I hold on to a lot of those things because there aren't a lot of alternatives without like legitimately tailoring items to mm -hmm. me but it doesn't need to be there anymore <laughs> I'm done with having pieces that don't fit me nicely yeah in theory i love this yeah but in practice i do not enjoy wearing it's my like single work blazer oh it has a little hole do you wear it put it in the mend pile yes okay. occasionally if i need to look somewhat fancy at work, mm. I will wear it. What do you typically wear to work? So in my current job, I work at a place that's like pretty blue collar work. So whatever I want to wear, mm -hmm. I can wear it to work, but I try to keep it somewhat professional most of the time. So I like this. I love the material. It's great for traveling. What I need to do is adjust it. Okay. What I do in the meantime is just like cuff it mm -hmm. and wear it open. And I like the way that okay. it fits. It's a good shape. Yeah, because if it's a piece that you like, but it just isn't totally right, then yeah. they seem like pretty easy changes to make, and then you, then you don't have to fuss with it. This is the one I was talking about that has the skirt that oh. like, you can only wear the skirt with this. It's not quite long enough to wear as though it was a dress. Okay. Um, so it does need something under it. It doesn't have to be that one something, it yeah. could be something else. I really want to love this cut and sew. It's cool. It never gets worn. Oh, it's okay, like way yeah. too form fitting for my comfort. So get rid of your maternity stuff. It makes you look pregnant oh, that's after another the maternity fact. One. By the way, yeah. she had her daughter four years ago. <laughs> yeah, so. this is like four years old and still in my closet because it fits me. It does not look flattering. It needs to go. I always want to like hold on to pieces that I'm like, well, if I ever transition into a work environment that I need mm. to be a little more professional or if we go to like events with our sponsors or whatever, I want to have something in my closet so that I can mm -hmm. look like I'm a but more serious human. But you do have humans. some things in your closet that you could do yes. that with. I feel like this is one of those, I have to try it on yeah. and it goes into the maybe pile because it's not something that I consistently reach for on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm. 
This is one of those pieces that I've kept around because I want to cut it to a not so weird silhouette but I just never do. How much do you love a striped skirt? Not enough to keep it around. Okay. I didn't even recall that I had this. This is a maternity <laughs> shirt. Oh. I should probably just put it immediately in the pile. You don't really wear it. No, I don't like belts as a general rule, especially belts that fit into pants. This one I do wear, this is a, like a wrap belt so it's like a oh, cute. wear it up tie it in a cute little knot these are literally just all the same pairs of the same leggings <laughs> because i love them so much four pairs of leggings and i just cycle through them i don't even know if these fit me anymore okay. maybe good to try on that is all my pants <laughs> yeah we did it yay Woo! So here is everything. We have a mending pile. This is the maybe pile. So Gabby's gonna go through and try these pieces on. Again, kind of reassess some of them, see how they fit. And this is the get rid of pile. <laughs> Big stack up here against the wall. So I'll probably go through these again and see if there's anything that is worth selling, donating. Everything seemed to be in good condition. So there's all of this stuff to get rid of. <laughs> maybe stuff and some mending stuff and then whoa that is the new closet we're one step closer to the capsule wardrobe goal <laughs> look at all of that space <laughs> so we did it yeah how do you feel about the clothes i mean i feel like you were pretty decisive about stuff and you kind of knew like this is something that i need to get rid of is it because yeah. it's something that you've thought for a while that you maybe needed to get rid of? Or? Yeah, one of the strategies I've kind of been implementing over the last year is to turn hangers around. Mm. So you basically turn all of your hangers the opposite way around so that the hook is facing towards you. And then after you wash something and are hanging back in your closet, you turn the hanger the correct way around. And then you can see after a while which pieces have never been worn because the hangers haven't been turned. And it's crazy. Some of the things have been in my wardrobe for like eight years that I've literally not worn in that whole time. This is step two of getting rid of the stuff that mm -hmm. I know I haven't worn for a while and isn't making me happy to keep it in here. Mm -hmm. And kind of going forward, my next steps in this are going to be to sort of put together some different outfits and see what really works well together. With your maybe pile, how are you gonna tackle that pile? Yeah, so first things first, I'm going to try everything on and see if it fits. If it doesn't fit, it's just gone immediately. There's no point in holding on to something. Things that do fit, deciding whether there are still outfits that they really work with. Some of the dresses will require kind of some secondary looks. I will definitely be turning all my hangers again the other mm -hmm. direction to see I can recall wearing all of these in the last three months. So it, it's a pretty good indication that the stuff that's in here is in here for a good reason at this point. Now it's just going to be a matter of kind of putting together pieces that really work well together. I would love to be able to just wake up in the morning and be like, this is what I'm wearing. Thanks for all your yeah, help getting this no closet worries. down. Thanks so much for letting <laughs> us into your closet and letting us kind of go through your stuff and talk about it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you guys have done a closet declutter, how it went, what your thoughts are on it. There's so many different ways you can approach it. If there are pieces that you're not sure about, again, put them maybe in a maybe box, put them aside, reassess it, do the hanger trick. That's a great idea to get a good, mm -hmm. you know, a good sense of what you're actually wearing. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye. Bye.